Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss derivation of contest-free grammar. What do you mean by derivation? Simply the derivation is the process of generating strings from the given grammar. Suppose I am given a grammar by using the productions of the grammar, we have to generate a string that is called derivation. In the simple terms, non-terminals are replaced by, by their productions. The non-terminals are replaced by their productions continuously until it derives only a set of terminals. Set of terminals in the sense that is a string. That is a string. Now, this derivation from context-free grammar is divided into two types. One is leftmost derivation. Second one is rightmost derivation. So the concept is same. The concept is replacing a non-terminal by their production. But the main difference between the leftmost production and rightmost production is in the leftmost production, for example, on the right hand side, if more than one variable appear in leftmost derivation, first we are replacing the left side variable. In rightmost derivation, first we are replacing the rightmost variable. For example, assume s tends to a b if you have a production like this what is the thing we have to replace the capital a we have some other production some a tends to b tends to like this also in leftmost derivation first two you have to replace this capital a with their production after completion of this only we are moving into this one that means replace the variables by scanning from left to right Exactly. In rightmost derivation, first we are replacing the variable B and then replacing the variable A. That means we are moving from right to left. This is the two derivations, the leftmost and rightmost derivation. Now our thing is, consider a context-free grammar and by using that context-free grammar, we will derive a string by using both leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation. Consider the given grammar S tends to A B B A A tends to A A S B A A B tends to B B S A B V. This is the grammar, and you required a string for performing derivation. Assume the string is equal to A, A, B, B, A, B, B, A. So, first I will explain the leftmost derivation. Initially, we are starting from the start symbol S. Yes. Under derivation, observe carefully. What is the first character? That is the first symbol is A. Now, from S, yes, we have two terms. From S, yes, we have two productions. One is starts with A. Another one starts with B. But our example starts with A. So you have to consider this one. In this way, you have to follow. Our string starts with A. So we have to select a production that starts with A. Now, this A is fixed. And we have only one variable. Variable in the sense, non-terminal, that is a capital letter. We have only one variable. You have to replace that variable. But from B, we have three productions. One, two, three. Now, capital B is replaced with either small b or small b s or small a b b. Which one you have to select? So, the second character is a. Already the first symbol occurred. The second symbol is a. Now, among all these, this is the production that starts with a. Now, capital A is replaced with this one. Now, now we have two a's are already occurred. Two A's are occurred, and this is the leftmost derivation. In this, first we have to replace this B. That is, we are moving from left to right. First, we have to replace this B. So, what is the next one? The next one is B. 
For example, I am replacing capital B with B. So B is also possible and capital B. Now A, A, B is completed. Now what is the next one? Against B. Suppose if you are replacing capital B with a small b, simply stop the process and there is no derivation. That is the reason we have to select this one. That means we have some part of the string is remaining. B is replaced with B S. Now A, A, B, B are completed. Now S is replaced with, again the next symbol is A. So S is replaced with A, B, the same process. What is the next symbol? We have to replace with this one. A, A, B, B, A. Now starts with B. So capital B is replaced with B, S. If you, start, if you use B means it's end of the process. But we have some more string. That is the reason. Simply the capital B is replaced with B, S. Now, A, A, B, B, A, B. So the next one is B. The next one is B. So here S is replaced with B, A. S is replaced with B, A. Now, the next one is A. And the string is completed. So A, A, B, B, A, B, B. Capital A is replaced with small a. This is called the leftmost derivation. For example, if you have more than one variable, always we are replacing the variable on the left hand side. After completion of the left hand side only, we will move to the right hand. That is the next variable. The same example for the same grammar implement rightmost derivation. First tense. Always we have to check the first one. What is the first character? A, B. So, S tends to A, B. Now, the next character is again A. So, the same thing. A is replaced with A, B, B. Now, in the leftmost derivation, first we are replacing this B. But in rightmost derivation, first you have to replace this B. We have to replace this B. How do we replace a simple thing? For example, if capital B, if capital B is replaced with this one means the second B is replaced with this B with some part of the string. That is, I am writing like this. A, A, B. This capital B is replaced with, starts with B. That says B, S. Now, in the next iteration, that is in the next step, you have to replace this capital S. That is, this is the rightmost production and rightmost derivation. A, A, this is as usual, B. Now, what is the next one? According to the example, A. A means the capital S is replaced with A, B. Now, in the next step, we have to replace this B. So, B means B, S. So, the simple thing, A, A, B, B, A. Capital B is replaced with B, S. Now, Replace this yes. We have two terms B A. Already one B is completed. B A. That is the reason S tends to A A B B A B. S is replaced with B A. In the next iteration, we have to replace this A with small a. A A B B A B B. Capital A is replaced with small a. That is end of string. Now we have this one, A, A, B, B, A, B. This is the rightmost derivation for the given grammar. Simply the procedure is very simple. Consider a string if you are scanning from left to right. That is, first we have to replace the leftmost side variable and so on. This is leftmost derivation. In rightmost derivation, first we have to replace the rightmost variable. That is, rightmost variable and so on. That is, we have to scan from right to left. This is, these are called the derivations of a contest-free grammar. Thank you.